So I challenged myself to build a gaming PC for $100 and I wanted it to run games comfortably. Simple entry level games like Fortnite, GTA 5, Rainbow Six Siege and maybe even Valorant. Now first, I needed a game plan because $100 in this day and age can barely get you anything. Now this leads me to my favorite place, Facebook Marketplace. It really does never disappoint me whenever I look over the page. Like when I started this challenge, I already had a random fight for 20 bucks. Yeah. $20. It looked promising, just the downside, the RAM and the side panel were missing. Now it was in beat up condition but I wasn't expecting that much. But who knows, maybe I won the lottery, maybe it was a lucky break. So of course, before I invested any more time in this, I tested it. I know this is kind of cheating but I already had DDR3 so I used that to test it instead of just wasting money on a new set. Anyways, back to testing. I tried running it and I was actually devastated. I mean, what was I expecting? For 20 bucks, it was a slim chance. Even after manually jumpstarting the PC, I had no luck. We needed a new plan. I took everything apart and had two things going in the back of my mind. To troubleshoot the PC, and if that doesn't work, find what parts were working and either to sell them or reuse them. Now all of this thinking left me exhausted, so I left it for the next day. I am back. This is the next day. Now I thought about testing the power supply first, because there was no power to it, so safe for me to assume that was the faulty part but when i did test it out i was so surprised like it actually worked which made me realize though it was either the motherboard or cpu or maybe even the ram but at least i know i could reuse that part so i was trying to think positive the thing is while touching this pc i was starting to get disgusted so i had to vacuum it up like uh blah 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 i know i can short circuit it and all that stuff but for 20 dollars, i'm not risking getting a disease from all that dirt but yeah after all that suffering through the cleaning we made it we had the 650 watt gold power supply but yeah let's not get too happy yet because with this working power supply it also meant that one of the other parts were broken which were either the motherboard cpu and ram and that would be very costly i'm gonna try see what's wrong with them but this is an i5 fourth gen so it's i didn't even know if it was even worth to even spend more money on this platform or to just look for a different one because i still had 80 dollars and with a broken motherboard i'm not gonna solder it or like look for another one because on ebay they're pretty expensive i just double checked there if there were bent pins or dust maybe there was that slim chance of me being able to save this platform but it still wasn't working so that leaves us with that 80 dollars and you know and if i do struggle i can also resell these parts you know so after a few days i waited patiently and i had no luck in selling the parts but i did spend the remaining of the budget three days later hey mate how are you yeah very okay <laughs> How is it? I know that it could run like really optimized games, but I haven't started up in years. Okay. Do you know the CPU by any chance? So the CPU, I'm not so sure. A lot of people have been asking. I can't remember what I put in there. Do you think it's an i5? Oh no, it's an AMD. Okay. Um, is that an AMD motherboard? It looks like an AMD motherboard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not so sure. I built it. Okay. Well, as long as it's, it's working. Do you have any other parts by any chance? Um, no. Okay. No, that's, that's that's all right. That's for eighty bucks. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, if it's working, yeah, it's a really good deal. So yeah. appreciate it. No, so I'll no, just pay. Good. I'll just pay ID. So at least we know out of that twenty dollars, we have this working power supply, and it's a pretty good one. It's a six hundred watt gold power supply. So I think brand new. Those go around from eighty to one hundred twenty dollars AUD, which is crazy. Because then I bought an eighty dollar PC, a mystery one. I don't know why. I just love risking it. But it, it looked good. It had a water cooler, graphics card, and everything. The only thing that was missing was the power supply. So, we got this one now for $80. So technically, all of this works. I built a gaming PC for 100 bucks. Now, I don't even know what the specs were in here. I just gambled 80 bucks into it. But it had a water cooler. So I was like, ah, let's risk it. Even like, it's an old school case. But let's take a look. So it's really, really dusty, but it looks so nice. I'm just looking at the tags right now. You can't really see it, but here it says it's an R9-3090. And over here, I'm gonna assume that's like, that's probably 32 gigs of DDR3 RAM. This is an AM3 Plus motherboard. But yeah, it looks really cool. This would look better in a nicer case. But I can even take the SSDs from the old computer and see if they work. So let's test if this works. Let's just do a bit like job and plug everything up. So yeah, there goes my budget. Maybe all these things happened for a reason because I had a power supply from the last PC. And what I didn't realize, it also had a 120 gig SSD and even a one terabyte hard drive. So it's kind of setting out in place. Everything is aligning together. I was pretty happy. Now the thing is, can this be classified as a gaming PC? Let's try out the games and see if it's playable. Oh, and before we tested the games, the specs are 
an AMD 8350, 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM. I put in a 120 gig SSD and a one terabyte hard drive. It was with that was from the $20 PC. It worked out, and at the moment it looks like it's running okay. Put up Rainbow Six Siege. Okay got my chair and one of the cool things is I got this screen from Facebook marketplace for free 31 inch what is going on people are rich and this isn't a part of the video but I got this for seven bucks from savers we're finding the deals now to me I would classify this as a gaming PC because the games I play are very easy all I play is League of Legends and Valorant a potato can run these games but I just thought about trying the other strong games that I used to play which is like Siege Fortnite because that's what everyone because that's a pretty common game, right? Let me know in the comments what games you guys play. But the thing is, after building this PC and installing everything, I had such a difficult time. I hate AMD, the old AMD models, because the drivers are such a pain to install. So I think that's what's gonna bottleneck this PC because I couldn't install the proper drivers for this R9 380. But let's see, so far so good. The screen looks good. You know, it's, it's really fast, but that's also because I have an SSD in play. Wait, let's try the first game, Rainbow Six Siege. It's taking too long, let's go in the shooting range for now. As long as this is playable, it's a success. So it actually went down to 720p, the monitor. What are my settings? So, this does feel playable. All right, I've done everything, I've optimized everything. I put everything on low because I doubt it will run anything. Yo! I don't know if this is because I'm doing training, but this looks, this looks good. This looks good, wait, let me put you guys on the screen. Shooting, shooting, shooting. Yo, this is actually playable. Plus, this is crazy. Cause Siege used to struggle on my PC, but it feels like they've they've optimized this game. But that in mind, I only had a 950, so this is yeah, dude. Okay, so in a proper game, in a proper in the proper game right now, I'm actually only getting 80 FPS. But I'm still that is still acceptable because right now, you know, I'm on medium settings, 1080p, and I, it's playable. Like. It's going down to 60, between 60 to 80 FPS and I'm not like, it's not like pissing me off where I can, the lag isn't pissing me off, you know. I can reinforce, easy, easy gameplay. Oh, wait, what, now it's spiking up to 140 FPS, I'm so confused. I have a shotgun, what am I doing? Anyways, on to the next game. I'm pretty happy with that, that is playable. I am struggling a little because the hard drive keeps playing up on me, I think it's failing. So I'm just working with the 120GB SSD, so. But of course, we gotta try out Minecraft. Let's see what I get for Minecraft. That's crazy. Kind of scared of Minecraft. But that's crazy. <laughs> okay, 97 FPS, 30 FPS. Oh my god, there's a bit of stutter. I think this is the maxed out settings. Let's let's calm it down a bit, a little bit. Let's take off the smooth lighting and graphics fast. Let's, let's reduce the render chunks down to eight. So before, yeah, okay. So before I was getting 90 FPS and it was stuttering and lagging. I've I've optimized the settings and I'm getting 200 FPS. But anything can run Minecraft these days, so I shouldn't be too happy about this. But I'd be happy with this. I could if after optimizing these settings, I can play Minecraft with ease. I'm installing. I'm trying to boot up Fortnite and it's so difficult because it's on the hard drive. Uh, I might not even bother getting GTA 5. Okay, we managed to get into the game. You can see here. And I've optimized it all to low settings because in the past I've had such difficulties on because I've built a few PCs like this, like Intel 2600 equivalent, and I've had difficulties with running Fortnite and I've had to go down to the low settings. But the thing is, uh, it is on a hard drive, so that might have some contribution because this I it, I don't know if you guys can hear but the hard drive is literally dying but I doubt it it's yeah it's it's 30 fps 50 fps it's not it's not a comfortable experience maybe if you v-sync it and 30 fps that can work so so for me I would say it was a success I wasn't even expecting it to be able to run siege because back in the day with my GTX 960 and i5 10th gen, my PC was struggling. But I'm planning to sell this PC, so if you guys are interested, maybe I'll install GTA 5 and I'll also do a deep cleaning video on it. But for now, I've been working on this PC for two weeks and I just wanna I just wanna clear it up, sell it, and make some space for my new projects. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, just know that with a hundred dollars you can do a lot as long as you're thorough and do your own research. Good luck to your PC building adventures if this has motivated you. See you guys.